One of the bright spots in the dark years of the 2020s was, paradoxically, the pictures of black holes, the first direct visual evidence for the astronomical phenomenon. Taken by astronomers with the Event Horizon Telescope, the images splashed across the front pages of newspapers around the world as the 2019 pictures captured a black hole in a galaxy millions of light years away from us. Now, in 2022, scientists have revealed the first image of the supermassive black hole that squats at the center of our own galaxy. Named Sagittarius A, this black hole is no threat to us Earthlings, but it could help us understand how the Milky Way formed as well as the strange physics that happen in and near black holes. Hours after the first image of the black hole at the center of the Milky Way was released, scientists from the Harvard and Smithsonian institutions discussed its significance in an online panel. So, what was explored in it, and what significance do the pictures hold? Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about what the quest to image black holes could tell us about our universe. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Not so long ago, the idea of photographing a black hole was as quixotic as photographing a unicorn. Now, scientists have not one, but two images of two different supermassive black holes. And they both look magical, like flaming donuts. I remember when black holes were purely theoretical," said Ellen Stofan, Assistant Secretary for Science and Research at the Smithsonian Institution and former NASA Chief Scientist during Thursday's post-disclosure panel. The conversation, moderated by Stofan, brought together four members of a Harvard-led team of scientists who, in 2019, presented the world with the first image of a black hole, a giant named M87, after its galaxy Messier 87. Hours before the panel discussion, the team shared a second image, close-up of the star Sagittarius A, or SGRA, a black hole snacking on light and space debris at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Scientists figured out that if they pointed telescopes all around the Earth at the same spot at the same time and cross-referenced the data, it could act as though it was one big telescope covering the size of the Earth. This is what the Event Horizon Telescope really is, a collection of telescopes around the world that are normally used for other purposes. Now there can be no doubt that we have seen black holes for the first time, said Shep Dolman, founding director of the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration and international team of more than 100 scientists led by the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard, and the Smithsonian Institution. This is the dawn of a new era in astronomy. It turns out that Sagittarius A is elusive for multiple reasons. The first picture we took was of M87, which is much, much larger than Sagittarius A, and that makes a difference. Sagittarius A is a thousand times smaller than M87, Still a monster, but a thousand times smaller, and as a consequence, it's actually evolving a thousand times faster," explained Professor John Karlstrom. M87 changed subtly on timescales of days. Now with Sagittarius A, it's changing in timescales of minutes, so it gets much trickier. We have to adapt the analysis to take into account that it's changing so quickly, he said. Imagine trying to take a picture of someone riding past on a bike. If they're pedaling slowly, it's easier to get a crisp photo, but the faster they're moving, the blurrier the photo tends to be. Another challenge is to account for dust and gas in our own galaxy that can cloud the picture. Finally, to astrophysicists, Sagittarius A is somewhat of a boring black hole. That is, things don't fall into it that often. The more a black hole eats, the more interesting it is to observe because all we get to see are the crumbs from its meals. The entire journey has been fascinating, said Karlstrom. He was impressed by the collaboration and technique needed to combine the data from telescopes around the world. It's wild. I mean, the resolution is like looking across from New York to read the date on a dime on the Golden Gate Bridge, he said. Seeing those images for the first time was just fantastic. 
In this new era, scientists will be able to confirm or disprove Einstein's long-standing theories of gravity and relativity, find Earth 2.0 or open a wormhole into another universe. Photographing a black hole is even harder than it looks. To take pictures of objects this far away, you need a telescope the size of Earth, says Carrie Haworth. We didn't do it because it's not possible and it would spoil a lot of people's opinion, she said. Instead, the researchers turned the Earth into a giant telescope by coordinating separate machines located in Hawaii, Chile, Mexico, Spain, France, and other places. Each team had to take a photo at the same time. Since black holes absorb everything that is too close, even light, they cannot be seen. But their massive gravity pulls and compresses nearby light and debris, creating a spinning gas vortex teeming with energy. The transformation of incident matter into luminosity, Dolman put it. This glow can be seen and photographed. Some of the light that enters the black hole's gravitational field makes a U-turn or a loop before escaping and firing in the direction of the Earth, carrying an image of where it came from. The last photo taken by the EHT team consists of images taken by each telescope and overlaid on top of each other. To combine all this data, light captured at a very precise point in time, the team had to perform another strange feat. Each group of telescopes froze their light, stored it on hard drives because it's too big to send over the internet. So they flew it by plane to one central location. M87, the first black hole to achieve star status, is about 1,000 times larger than the Sagittarius A star and much more stable. But the images are much the same, a coup for EHT and Albert Einstein. Einstein suggested that black holes have only three characteristics, mass, spin, and charge, and no hair, as astrophysicists like to call additional properties. The only difference is a slight blur in the image of the Sagittarius A star, according to astrophysicist Paul Teed. Our galaxy's black hole is more fussy, restless, like a child, and harder to get a clear picture of something that is constantly changing. Also, there is some kind of cosmic soup between us and the Sagittarius A that darkens the image a bit. Even with that, Teed said, I'm still amazed at how similar these images are. The way black holes are described suggests that they are voracious monsters, sucking up everything in space like a drain in a bathtub. Not really. Although they are the most powerful objects in the universe, Dolman said that a black hole formed by the folding of the Earth in half could power Manhattan for a year. They do not consume entire galaxies, but simply distort space-time and displace objects from their destination way. This is good news because the EHT team suspects that there is a supermassive black hole at the center of every galaxy. But even with these new images, according to Teed, we know next to nothing about them. When asked why black holes are donut-shaped, he replied, because they are delicious. Black holes are at the frontiers of our current knowledge of physics and astrophysics, said Angelo Ricarte, who brought his favorite black hole, Poe, a soft black ball with two bulging eyes, to the panel discussion. These new images are already helping Ricarta and others study the strange physics of superheated gases swirling around black holes, as well as how behemoths spewing jets of these gases millions of light years away in any direction. These jets, Ricarte says, could help explain our cosmic origin story, have a profound effect on the evolution of our galaxy, or bridge theories of the very large with the very small to support a theory of everything. There are a lot of things that we still don't fully understand in these extreme conditions, he said. To better understand, Dolman wants to build an even bigger telescope by placing another imaging device on a satellite orbiting Earth. He hopes to make something more exciting than black hole photography, a film about a black hole. If we could measure the orbits of matter, that would be a completely different test of Einstein's theory, he said. Soon, we are going to see the inside mysteries of a black hole. And indeed, it's going to be very exciting. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below.
And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.